All right, so we got a town car here, the new one I bought. Now, it's got some problems. First problem is it's overloading on fuel and it's got a misfire. So, first thing you do when you're diagnosing is visual inspection. First visual inspection thing I found is we're missing a coolant temp sensor from there. So we're gonna put one in. Oh, well, I bought one. It's a Four Seasons part number. It just kind of looks like this, it goes in the intake. 20 millimeter kind of fits on there good enough. They don't need to be that tight. They are going into a cheap aluminum intake. Well, 20 millimeter seems to fit good enough. Now, there's gonna be some coolant here, so get ready. Why am I just... That button's been in there a while without the center. Hey, look, no coolant came out. Well, look, good time to check your coolant level. While doing this, let me just screw right in there. And then, we'll just run it in. Just enough, you see I'm using one finger. Just stuck it up, good and tight. And then I notice we are gonna need a connector because that one has a lock tab broke. But it'll work for now to diagnose it. So now I'm gonna finish my visual inspection, finish diagnosing this thing, and go from here. Cause, uh, just to see what I see. And a good look around gets you a long way. So, a good look around gets you a long, long way. Let's plug it in. I notice some. Other stuff is cute. So, it looks like with this one too. Um, I don't know if I'll film it, but we are going to get a motor replacement. And I'm not sure, but we're probably going to get O2 sensor replacement videos again, which the last one was horrible, so that'll be a new one. So, hopefully, hopefully this does it. Um... I'm gonna go on and diagnose this, finish diagnosing, checking wiring, checking visuals, vacuum ports, all that. This, you know, if I put a new motor in and it's still overloading on fuel, then we still have that problem and we will kill the new motor. So, looks like we got scored cylinder wall and cylinder number five giving low compression due to it washing cylinder with fuel. So, that's my diagnosis uh, on that, and uh, I'm just going to go from there. Y'all have a great day, and thanks for watching. There'll be a lot more to come. Peace.